Jungles, jackfruit and edible weeds. We go foraging for food in Hong Kong and this is Drone and Phone. Well, welcome to a special episode of Drone and Phone. I'm here with Josh from Clumsy Gardener. Josh, do you want to just tell us a little bit about your show? Sure thing, the Clumsy Garden. I have a little garden myself here in Hong Kong that I'm developing and trying to grow. And what I also do is go visit other urban uh, agricultural projects throughout Asia as well. So that's what I do. Cool. We're going to put a link to that show. But today we're doing a joint project together. We're going to go out into this forest behind us on a little bit of a bushwhack. The bushwhacking is something I'm good at. Josh is hopefully going to find us some food to eat. That's the idea. See what could be foraged and see what we can snack on out there in the wild. Yeah. Oh, man. We start the adventure right now. In this special episode, we're on Lama Island foraging through disused farming terraces that have long since been taken back by the jungle. Our aim is simple to find food growing wild we can eat. Just a few minutes into the hike, and I spot our first potential snack. Josh is not so sure we should be eating it, though. I'm not entirely certain. It looks like it's some sort of citrus. We leave it, but minutes later, Josh comes across another candidate for our mid-afternoon nibble. I'm pretty sure these are fake figs, so they're not edible. Pushing further into the jungle, we pass remnants of old farms, hoping to find something we can eat. The further we go, the thicker the bush. We promised a bushwhack to the guys at Clumsy Gardener. We have delivered on our promise. Josh finds himself surrounded on all sides. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And I am starting to get scratches all over my body. What happened? Okay, ah, ah, ah. Ah, hold on, hold on. There we go. Ah. With nothing but cuts and mosquito bites to show for our efforts, we emerge onto a path that makes the going a little easier, but still presents its own challenges. Big spider, right there. And then a spot. Our first meal. I've always been interested in mushrooms, but I don't. I, I just I don't know enough to feel comfortable recommending any, anything. Some species of fungi are neurotoxic and can cause severe damage and even death. So without a clear ID on the mushroom, once again we have to leave it and continue on. As we enter one of the villages on Lama, he notices a common weed found throughout it's Hong Kong. It's a uh, it's a so it's it's a type of sorrel, uh -huh. a type of wild sorrel. It's a pink sorrel. So this is actually edible. It's kind of sour and uh, yeah, it's, it smells quite fresh. So Josh, I, uh, I happen to know somebody who lives in this, this neighborhood, so I think we should go and do a taste test. Hello. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Jack. What are you guys for Josh. me? I brought you flowers. <laughs> Ooh. Now, these are, ed these are edible, Jack. We want to see what they taste like. You have to wash them first. Yeah. Uh, we want to see. The, the see, edible. See yeah. what you think. I, 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 I have a child, I have a wife, yeah, you, you have to make sure this is eatable. It's <laughs> well, sour. Yeah, it's kind of sour, right? It might be the dog pee, because it was right next <laughs> let's, to let's, the <laughs> let's rinse it off. Oxalis originates in South America and was brought to Hong Kong as an ornamental plant. Nice it's now found throughout yeah. Hong Kong. Oh, it's got quite a tang to it. Mm -hmm. Sour, right? Yeah, tangy. <clears throat> it's wow. quite nice when you have it with like a salad, a little garnish on top. Yeah, I like it. With more ground to cover, we finish oh, our coffee. Thanks for this, Jack. Cheers, Jack. And continue our journey. Well, Josh, that was a pretty tough bushwhack. <laughs> Indeed, we've got some mosquito bites and some scratches with, all over us. Yes, we're covered in all sorts of things. But this second half is going to be a lot easier in terms of the walking. We're going to be in a much more open path, um, open views, more kind of meadow-ish. Uh, we did manage to find a few things in that first half. Um, but I'm hoping we're going to get something a bit more substantial. Let's hope. So this 
is called a thatch screw pine. You, normally there's a fruit that comes out of the middle and it kind of looks like a pineapple. Um, there aren't any right now and they can get pretty big and they're typically uh, by the coast. So it kind of makes sense that they're here. Uh, but alas, uh, nothing to eat. What? Nope, sorry. <laughs> After a scenic hour of hiking, we take a different route back. Our luck starts to change. While shooting two butterflies off the path, I spot something familiar. Coffee beans. Kind of sweet. Very astringent though. With an additional caffeine kick, we power through to the home stretch. As we get close to our final destination, we discover a few edibles not far off the trail. It's a big old papaya tree here. It's pretty common. But yeah, they'll get ripe, they'll get nice and orange. And uh, should be able to climb up and get them. We also find jackfruit and a large clump of Cuban oregano, a common semi-succulent herb that's known for its resilience and pungent smell. Yeah, yeah, that's really strong. Really, really, really strong. Um, it's, it's used a lot in Thai cuisine, like a lot of Thai salads will use it. Um, but I like it, um, I like to marinate with it. Uh, I also like to have it with uh, a G&T every now and then. <laughs> and finally, some lemongrass. But it's used in a lot in, uh, a lot in like Thai cuisine as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great with pork chops, barbecue pork. Oh, so good. Well, that's the end of today. It's been a really fun experience. Found all sorts of things around my house I never knew existed. Got a bit of food inside me as well. Josh, how has it been for you? It's been a lot of fun. Thanks for having me out here, DJ. The bushwhacking was definitely a challenge. I'm glad I was up for it. Uh, this experience has got me thinking, though, I need to up my foraging game. So <laughs> we'll do this again at some point when I got a bit more knowledge under my belt. That would be cool. I'm going to put a link down below to the Clumsy Gardener. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. Also, like and subscribe to our show at Drone and Phone. My name is DJ Clark. And I'm Josh. And this is Drone, Drone and, and Phone. Phone. really good for uh, allegedly uh, insect repelling <laughs> but you know Hong Kong mosquitoes are extra tough <laughs>